OpenAI's recent rollout of GPT-5 didn't go exactly as planned. Many users were frustrated to see GPT-4.0 removed from ChatGPT overnight in favor of a new model that's just not getting great reviews. If you're among those who miss GPT-4.0's specific style and quirks, or you're just not ready to make the switch to a new model yet, I've got two pieces of good news for you. First, you can change one simple setting in ChatGPT and start using 4.0 again. I'm also going to show you how the OpenAI developer platform works so you can integrate AI into workflows beyond just ChatGPT. Let's get started. For the time being, OpenAI has added 4.0 back to the model selection menu. All you have to do is click on the model name in the top left, scroll down to legacy models and choose 4.0 from the list. To access additional legacy models, go to your account settings. From there, enable the show additional models toggle. Then you'll see some more choices like 4.1 and 03. However, the ability to choose your specific model is only available to users with a ChatGPT Plus subscription. Additionally, there's no telling how long OpenAI will keep any of these legacy models accessible here. ChatGPT isn't the only way to access OpenAI's models. You can actually bypass the chat window entirely and talk directly to their API. An API is an application programming interface. It opens up a web app's actions and data to other software. Now, developers typically write custom code for this, but if you're a no-code builder, that's not a problem. Automation providers like Zapier, Make, N8N, and Pipedream all make this incredibly simple. They let you send custom AI prompts via the API without writing any code yourself, and they'll let you feed in data from any web app directly into your prompts. There are three key reasons this approach can actually be better than just using ChatGPT. First, you get access to a much wider list of legacy invariant models, including GPT-4.0. Second, you get precise control over advanced settings like randomness, so you can fine tune the AI's output to fit your specific situation. Third, you can pre-configure long, complex prompts that incorporate dynamic data from other apps. These workflows can be triggered on the click of a button or automatically when something happens in a specific app. This means you can have your prompts run automatically whenever you get a new email with a certain keyword in the subject, or whenever you add a new row to a Google Sheet, or when you update a lead status in your CRM. There are thousands of apps you can connect with no-code automation, so you can fit AI into virtually any workflow. These tools all have affordable plans, and they'll more than pay for themselves in the time savings if you use them enough. All things considered, I think it's worth it for every daily ChatGPT user to at least try using the API to see what it can do.